What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new review for you today. In this video, I'll be taking a look at Overlord for the Xbox 360. This game was developed by Triumph Studios and published by Codemaster, with a North American release of June 26, 2007. This game was also released for the PC, or more specifically, Windows and Linux, and PlayStation 3. But that port had a different name called Raising Hell. This game is a multiplayer online with different modes or single player action RPG game. In single player, you get to play as the villain of the story. Hey, there's a pretty cool idea. The story goes that your predecessor was killed by a group of heroes who now rule the land corruptly and have brought the whole entire kingdom to heal. It's your job to take them out, get revenge for your fallen predecessor, and build back your entire kingdom, and take out those corrupt heroes. You do this by summoning a horde of minions. Minions are small goblin-like creatures that can be summoned from spawning pick. Spawning pits, excuse me. There's four different types that you can command. Your main force will consist of the brown ones, which are melee fighters. Later on, you'll get red ones, which are immune to fire, and can use fireball spells. They're ranged fighters. You can also get blue ones, who can swim, or revive a fallen minion if they've fallen in battle. And lastly, is the later portion of the game you get green ones who can get rid of poison are immune to poison and use stealth and sneak to take out their enemies you command your minion horde by holding the right trigger to command them to go forward and attack and pillage or you can make them manually move by using the right thumbstick when they're off attacking and pillaging, and you need to suddenly call them back, you hold the B button, and they'll return to you. Now, when you're just walking around or moving around, they always follow behind you. You also don't have to worry about equipping them with any items, because they'll loot and pillage for their own weapons. However, you, as the main villain of this story, are equipped with a melee weapon, such as the axe that you see here, and also armor. As you play through the game, you get better weapons and better armor to use against your foes. My only complaint about the controls in this game is that there's no, really no run or dodge mechanic to speak of. So, the game can feel a bit sluggish because you're always just going the same speed. And sometimes some of these puzzles can get a little confusing. But, the minions at least control well enough. As you progress through this game and defeat the heroes, you realize that they all symbolize one of the seven deadly sins. The first one that you'll be taking out is obviously gluttony. Each time you take out one of these heroes, you're faced with a choice. Hey, this suddenly sounds like Fable. Well, it's kind of a spin-off variation of Fable. You also have choices that you make throughout the game. And depending on which way you make these choices, you'll either be raising or lowering what's called your corruption level. Pretty much do you want to be just kind of evil or really evil? But, fear not. This game is more of a not-so-serious comedic spin-off of the Fable franchise. Next, let's take a look at the music and sound design for this game. All in all, I'd say it does pretty well, as you can hear from the music in this gameplay footage. It's not terrible, but it's not great, and it fits the motif and theme of the game. One neat feature in this game is that depending on your corruption level, you'll be able to customize your tower differently. If you have zero corruption, your tower will have more of a kind of light, airy, almost holy aura to it, and 
If you're more fully corrupt and more evil, you'll have a bit more of a darker, more demonic presence in your tower. You can do this by buying banners with the gold that you acquire and other objects inside your tower. So, overall, is this game worth playing today? Well, if you enjoy not-so-serious action RPGs with some rather kind of crude humor to them, then yes, definitely. I'd say give Overlord a try. If you're new here and you enjoy this review, please check out some of the other reviews that I've done. And if you would, please consider subscribing. And as always, if you enjoyed this video specifically, please leave me a like, a comment, and a share. And I'll see you in the next review. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stay safe out there, and happy holidays. And if there's a game that you'd like to see me talk about or play coming around the Christmas time, leave me a comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next review.